I don't think you could ask any more out of him. He had a, a great year, kept us in a ton of games, including uh, against Randall Call, where if he doesn't make a save for us in the third, we don't beat them. And uh, probably one of our biggest wins of the season. He kept us in a number of games and was a leader in the locker room, and we look forward to having him for one more year. Cameron Cotter. Cotter, again, is one of those uh, gritty players that just, you know, whatever you ask out of Cameron, he'll do. And Cabanzo also scored the tying goal against Rialpo, which allowed us to beat them on one of the most ridiculous shots I've ever seen. And also managed to get surgery. Managed to hurt his meniscus, get surgery, came to practice the last day walking with no crutches or anything, and was back on the ice for our first state game. So to have that kind of toughness is just unbelievable. It's inspiring to the team, and uh, again, another year of him. Can't wait to see what he can do for us. All right, on to my seniors. Eric Williams. Eric, another one of the... Uh, be one of the few people that hit on our team this year. If, if you needed any any physical play to you know turn on or get the boys going, Eric could do it in one shift. He also had some big goals for us against Wayne Hill. If you ever needed shots blocked on the PK, he was always there. Never never back down from a shot. Didn't matter who was taking it. If it was a stud or on the other team, he would do anything to help the team. And uh, I mean, he's going to be dearly missed next year. Curtis Waldeck. Kurt is another one that we spotted into a ton of lines this year. It's tough in his position because you never know when you're going to get thrown in, whether it be on a line three, line four, and then there'd be times he jumps in line one, line two when we had injuries. He came into every game and handled it with poise to everything we asked, and uh, definitely another one that will be missed next year. Sean Bauer. Johnny uh, played a big role for the last couple of years on this team, being one of our starting centers. Defensively a strong player and also what an offensive aspect of the team. Very responsible in his own zone and had the size to be physical and have a shot. Someone we'll definitely miss next year, not only for his play, but leadership in the locker room. And look forward to what he has in his future outside of the game. Trevor Kowal. Trev, uh, Trev stepped up big for us this, this year, coming uh, last year he was a four and we asked him this year to move back to defense. Without a complaint, he, uh, he went back, changed his game completely where you go from a scoring mentality to more defensive, uh, watching plays develop and making smart decisions, and he handled it, again, flawlessly, very few mistakes, and was a key part to us having a successful year. So congratulations and wish you the best in the future. Joey Capita. Joey Capita, I, I don't have enough words to say about Joey. I've known Joey and his family for a long time. Outside of being a, a phenomenal defenseman in a similar role to Trevor, we asked him to drop back from forward to defense this year. Handled it extremely well. Uh, you know, learning a new position, especially defense, in that short of time, it's incredibly difficult to do. And for you know what we asked, he did everything. And outside of the ring, if there was ever a tense moment in the locker room, I don't think anyone handled it better than uh, Joey could have. Definitely one of the, the funniest people I've ever met, and a pleasure to know him and coach him. Thank you. <laughs> Nick Cortese. Nicky, I uh, can't say enough about another guy that was spotted in all over the place. You know, one of the, at, at moments knows how to be ready to jump to where he might not have played a whole period. Incredibly physical player, was able to jump in on top lines and move the puck and compete with them. And another one that will be dealing this next year. Brian Bolnick. Uh, just quick on Ryan. Ryan started playing hockey and being a goalie his freshman year of high school. It's impossible for me to tell you how difficult that is and to make it to the varsity level. 
it's an accomplishment that uh, that anyone can be proud of. And I know, speaking for me, speaking for uh, Anthony and all the coaches, we're incredibly proud of what you're able to do in four years, and uh, we wish you the best in the future. And finally, last but not least, uh, I know he's happy to be here, John Hugendorn. Johnny, uh, Johnny might be the most skilled player to ever come through the Indian Hills hockey program. Uh, definitely just a phenomenal player. Had over 100 points in his career, which is incredibly difficult to do. Uh, he didn't go a game this year without registering a point. Something like 30 games, and he every game he was either scoring goals or having assists. Had uh, 40 points on the year, and just overall phenomenal player. Definitely will be missed next year, but no, he'll have a bright future as he continues playing uh, junior hockey and eventually college. Uh, just in general, quickly, for the hockey team, uh, you know, a lot of teams judge their season on wins and losses, and we had a decent one. Uh, off ice, you know, when we took over this program last year, I know Anthony, myself, and DJ, we wanted to bring back a family culture to this team. And uh, what, what went on in the locker room this year and off the ice, uh, unfortunately, uh, we've had a couple tragedies, whether it be me or Anthony, uh, with our losses this year. The support we've had from, uh, from the boys is just, it, it's maturity beyond their ages. I know it meant a ton to me, it meant a ton to Anthony. And, uh, you know, this culture that you guys set up, seniors, is now something that I know the juniors will continue, the freshmen have seen it, the sophomores have seen it. Um, you know, you might, we might not have had state championships this year or whatnot, but you set a culture that will definitely stay with this team forever and will, in turn, make us more successful than uh, you guys will probably ever realize. So thank you, seniors. Thank you, team. We appreciate it. Really good work. That says to me, I hand it off to you and head coach Brian McDonald. Thank you. 